solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots. In solving quadratic equations by extracting square roots, it is important to know how to simplify and extract roots of a number, such as square root of 4. The roots are positive and negative 2. Square root of 169. The roots are positive and negative 13. Square root of 625. The roots are positive and negative 25. Now, in quadratic equation, if b equals 0, then the quadratic equation is in the form of ax squared plus c equals 0. If a equals 1 and b equals 0, then the quadratic equation is in the form of x squared plus c equals 0. If the equation that can be written in the form of ax squared equals c and x squared equals c, where c is any non-negative real number, then it can be solved by extraction of square root. In solving quadratic equation by extraction of square root, you're going to use the square root property. And the square root property states that for any real non-negative number c, if x squared equals c, then x would be equal to positive negative square root of c. Let's have some examples. Solve the following quadratic equation by extracting square roots. Example number 1. x squared equals 4. Solution. First, you need to isolate the quadratic term. Remember that the quadratic term is in the form of ax squared. And obviously, in our example number 1, it is already isolated. Next, take the square root of each side of the equation. In short, you need to apply the square root property, such as the square root of x squared equals square root of 4. Next, consider the negative and positive roots since both are correct. So the value of x would be a positive and negative 2. I repeat, x equals 2 and x is equals to negative 2. Next, you do the checking. In checking the value of the roots, you need to apply the substitution property to the given. So if x is equals 2, give the given, substitute the value of x which is 2, so you will have there 2 squared equals 4, 4 equals 4, and that is true. Next, if x equals negative 2, write the given, substitute the value of x, you will have there negative 2 squared equals 4, 4 equals 4, and that is true. Lastly, state the conclusion. You write there, therefore, the values of x are 2 and negative 2. Take note that the three dots in a triangular is a symbol for the word therefore. Aside from that, you need to take note that in every quadratic equation in one variable, it has exactly two solutions or roots. Number 2. x squared minus 5 equals 20. Solution. First, you need to write the given which is x squared minus 5 equals 20. And obviously, in our first step, you need to isolate the quadratic term. And obviously, negative 5 is not part of the quadratic term. You need to transpose negative 5 to the other side of the equation that results x squared equals 20 plus 5. Simplify x squared equals 25. Next, make sure to apply the square root property on both sides of the equation. So you will have there the square root of x squared equals square root of 25. And remember to consider both positive and negative roots since both are correct. So x would be equal to positive negative 5. I repeat, x equals 5 and x equals negative 5. Next, checking. In checking, remember to apply the values of x in the given. So right there, if x equals 5, write the given x squared minus 5 equals 20. Substitute the value of x which is 5. You will have there 5 squared minus 5 equals 20. 
Next, remember that 5 squared is 25. 25 minus 5 equals 20. Simplify. 25 minus 5, 20 equals 20. And obviously, that is true. Next, if x equals negative 5, write the given x squared minus 5 equals 20. Substitute the value of x, you will have there negative 5 squared minus 5 equals 20. Simplify. 25 minus 5 equals 20, and the result will be 20 equals 20, which is true. And lastly, your conclusion. State the conclusion. Therefore, the values of x are 5 and negative 5. Example number 3. 5x squared equals 80. Solution. 5x squared here is our quadratic term. But we need to make sure that the value of our a is 1. So how to do that? All you need to do is to divide both sides by the value of a, which is 5, here in our given. By dividing 5 on both sides, we can cancel out 5. Resolve, x squared equals 16. Yes, 16. Because 80 divided by 5 is 16. Next, apply the square root property by extracting square roots on both sides of the equation. So you have there square root of x squared equals square root of 16. Remember to consider the positive and negative roots. So the value of our x is positive negative 4. Again, x equals 4 and x equals negative 4. Next, checking. In checking, remember to use the value of x. Then substitute it to the given. So if x is 4, write the given, substitute it with the value of x, and you have there 5 times 4 squared. Now, remember in PEMDAS, you need to get the value of the exponent before multiplying. So 5 times 16 equals 18 because 4 squared is 16. <coughs> Next, 5 times 16 is 80. So you have 80 equals 80, and that is true. Next, if x equals negative 4, write the given, substitute the value of x, which is negative 4. Remember to do the exponent first before multiplying with, with 5. So you have 5 times 16 equals 80 because negative 4 squared is 16 and 5 times 16 is obviously 80. 80 equals 80? That is true. Conclusion. Therefore, the values of x are 4 and negative 4. Number 4. Quantity x minus 2 squared equals 9. Solution. Quantity x minus 2 squared here is already our quadratic term. So, we can proceed to the next step, which is applying the square root property by extracting square roots on both sides of the equation. So, extract quantity x minus 2 squared and also 9. So, you have there square root of quantity x minus 2 squared equals square root of 9. You will have x minus 2, which is the square root of quantity x minus 2 squared. And you have also there the positive and negative 3, which is the square root of 9. Simplifying this on the other side, x minus 2 equals 3, x equals 3 plus 2 because we transpose negative 2 on the other side of the equation. Next, x equals 5, and that would be our first value of x. Second value of x. You have there x minus 2 equals negative 3. Yes, negative 3 because we're done with positive 3. Trans transpose negative 2, x equals negative 3 plus 2. Simplify, x equals negative 1. So the values of your x is 5 and negative 1. Next, checking. Remember that in checking, substitute the value of x to the given. So if x is 5, 
write the given, substitute the value of x, so you have there 5 minus 2 squared equals 9. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So 9 equals 9, and that is true. Next, if x equals negative 1, write the given, substitute with negative 1, and then remember, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So negative 3 squared is 9. So 9 equals 9, and that is true. Lastly, do the conclusion. Therefore, the values of x are 5 and negative 1.